deeply awake, entangled, the Council of the Twelve Creation Theory, May 12, 2014, by Kathy Vick, at kathyvick.com, magatha at lightworkers.org, deeply awake at Tumblr. And so we may begin and we do so by telling you of shifts yet to come, coming quite soon, in fact, things in the wind, so to speak, energetically, but, as always, we are here to assist you in navigating the winds that do so blow from time to time. Some may argue these winds are so strong as to feel as if they are blowing through them, and this is an apt visual, although moderately accurate, we would like to say, in that, there are strong currents, adjustments, being made magnetically at this time, and this leads to, at times, abrupt shifts in feeling tone, consciousness level, energy levels, and expanded awareness, shall we say, many gifts, which are but innate abilities, abilities within your very own DNA, yours now for the taking, these gifts, so long dormant, experience acceleration, excitation, and with that, with it comes communication, expansion, a change in resonance, vibration, frequency, each are entangled within quantum fields you have yet to believe exist, and so they do not, and so they will not, you see. These fields are your mother's milk, your grid system, so to speak. We tell you there have been occurrences geologically, so to speak, as of late, and these changes are not as much mechanical, or physical, as they are due with currents, and we can say these currents can be described as tonal. This is but one way to translate, interpret, language this information. When this information is presented, you will see, no doubt, coherence, in models, in theorems, in structure of thinking, and more, in the way in which the thinking occurs, and yet each who understands these new ideas must filter them past, through, their belief structures, their attachments, as well as their cultural biases, gender biases, psychological programs, and these, when these begin to dissipate, then more of these messages may come home again, to be explored, considered, perhaps, and perhaps not even acted upon, as of yet. Seek out information which makes good sense, which checks out in your daily life, that rings true and clear within the heart you know and respect. It is fine to turn from that which you do not resonate with. In fact, that is the point. Your discernment sharpens for a reason, more is available. Tuning into frequency, feeling tone, thought constructs, at the very least, becomes more and more critical. Razor's edge, we say now, if one wishes to experience such a reality. Many do, with grand intent, and many do, with less intent, and some have no intent, and all are one, and so we cannot but ask, is this not a grand adventure within which you play today? Regardless of the focus of one individual's consciousness, can you not see that there is a certain pitch, which must, by its very nature, raise or lower, as each make incremental adjustments on their perception, their thought patterns, their behavior, their emotions. Not much light is needed, it has been said, and we reiterate. Not much light at all, it is getting brighter, we know there are many who are aware of this, and many who pray for it nightly, it is here, it has always been here. Intent is all, and with it comes all, the process unraveling as is correct and true for each soul, each incarnation, lovingly supported from first breath to last, regardless of how bright their DNA burns. It is the same source energy, realized or not, recognized or not, celebrated or not. You can begin to see you as strictly in relational terms. It is necessary only when in relation to other, and dear loves, our wild hermits and odd group of first wavers. The time has come to have a chat about things as they are now, because by now all of you know, everything is different. And yet, not everyone knows, not yet. We say that coherence is a far more profound word than is currently understood, for coherence can be used as a word for one of the forces of this universe. The theory of coherence will become high science, the high sciences, as, we remind you that this consciousness you are dipping into is about unity. Unity, is this not a stick figure word for coherence? We tell you that the entanglement you experience in physical reality is so complete and so precise, that many cannot fathom its focus. And, of course, isn't it obvious, many live lives unaware of any of it, any of this, and, dear ones, they are just fine. 
they are pursuing understanding through their soul's intent. Surely you know, by now, of the power of intent, and with this we elucidate what was given, in part, in meditation, as these are concepts which could not be attempted at languaging without visual and perceptual understanding first. Geometry's base was shown, the alpha and the omega, the neutron, and the electron. Curve and line, united, and understood, they are but true reflections of each other, this atomic dance which you all do so flawlessly, so beautifully, always. This dance, this was shown the channel, the electron popping, as she calls it, the thing that was bothering her, how could something pop in and out of reality like that, what is going on here, the question was asked ad nauseum, dreams given, understandings given for future days, but this we allowed this day, and give to you now, there is something which emits something else, there is shift, a profound and rapid shift, in consciousness, such precision and focus and joyful will, but more, there is a force of intent which is benevolence itself, birthing itself, the Ouroboros, but more, the spiral, the spin. It is thick in benevolence and it is that which spins it and is spun, and it is liquefied, physicalized benevolence, it is light, it is consciousness, it is form, and this is the electron, popping in and out as it does, it is the neutron, its twin, itself in other form, both, in their own way, teasing you to ask, playing with your curiosity. This is their way, cheeky, they are one, that which is we interrupted this channel because we were on the phone, you see, she has just been given a gift. We resume, in good humor. At the center, and that which spins around it, it is the dance of the universe, it is creation itself, it is intent, it is benevolence, that which constructs the atom, that which motivates it into being, that which recreates it, timeless, beyond time, time its construct, its idea, its plaything. The force which is the spin of the atoms, the particles, these acts of creation, can you not see this is what you are call consciousness, and this very consciousness is reading these words now, listening now, writing them, indeed, now. As a worker at your job, as a parent, as a child, as a spouse, as a friend, can you not understand it is you, your greater consciousness, birthing and rebirthing you, billions of times a second, we wish you peace and joy, this day, understanding that which has been birthed, its process thoroughly enjoyed, this physics, this geometry, this science is that of consciousness, it is that of possibility and freedom, it is the science of the all, of the spin you are, the spirals you all encounter, the cycles the cycles the cycles, and all the meaning, all the information, all the fractals of understanding and benevolence itself, available to you now, as never before. We end by telling you about gifts. It is an important topic, one long overdue for discussion, as it has to do with generosity of spirit, and the shift many first waivers are encountering, and having varying degrees of difficulty with, and so we continue. Consider that, in your hand, is the most beautiful and meaningful, spiritual, perhaps, but completely loved object you wish to become aware of. Many have quite a few to choose from, you see. Choose one which could easily stand as an emblem or symbol for your walk, your accomplishments, perhaps, your heart, your intent, your better nature, a symbol of that which you came from, have become and strive to be. Have you got such a symbol? No. Then think of a picture or scene, a feeling state or an event when you knew, if only for a moment, knowing in your bones, in your blood, that you were completely understood, completely seen, unconditionally loved, if only for a moment of your time. Consider a grandfather, a mother, a sister, consider this, a symbol for such thick, profound, dizzyingly profound love. Do you have it? Now. Consider that someone just handed such an object to you, some sort of physical manifestation of this universal high five. Consider that someone approached you and took your hands, lifted them, cupped them, and then put into them such a symbol, which, of course, implies that someone other than you saw you in completeness, and wished to compliment you on your fine work. There it is, in your hands. What does it look like, and how does this feel? We tell you that although this is considered a rare event, many will feel this, with increasing frequency, and with many, 
we tell you now. With many, with many. How can this not happen, when one soul sees another soul? Additionally, many are reviewing their lives and are seeing that this is a gift which had been glittering in the air in all manner of difficult, awkward, painful and silly situations. They see it more readily in all interactions now. Perhaps you can see how this might be so for you, now or in the past, yes. Do you see? Do you see that being given a gift such as this is good, and it is to be enjoyed, simply, very simply enjoyed? Those who are windsurfing will understand, or are soon to understand, how could it be any other way, with these grid shifts, loved ones, we will return to the grids to close, but we have something else to say, we must continue, about gifts and their givers. We wish for those who understand these words to hear what we first broadcast through this channel two years ago. We tell you now that the gift of love, all love, and by this we mean, many find it easier and easier to find themselves in a vibration which makes being in love with their grocery bagger, their boss, their child, seem quite valid, and absolutely possible, highly pleasurable, even as this is happening, we tell you of gift giving, and givers. Feeling this for another is a gift which you place in their hands, with a nod and a hello, some are finding, and all will find. Dear ones, do you not understand, you are giving this gift, this symbol, individual each time, beautiful and harmonious and mysterious, you may give this gift as often as you like now, and some, now are finding, they are the recipients of such gifts, as well. Gifts are given to you, as of course they shall, we ask you to remember that a gift is just that. It is something given, something received, an exchange, a mutual exchange, complete at that moment, if received as it is intended. Allow exchange of energy, and allow circuits to complete, and cycles to flow. Allow flow, allow for amplification and modulation, in pitch and vibration, and allow gift to be seen as gift, giver to be seen as giver, and allow this to become your way, your walk, and the giver is to the receiver as electron is to neutron. Understand the true exchange, the true and possible recognition, one soul to another, and we ask that you let this be your way every day, with every human being you meet, in all situations, we ask, we pray, live from this soul, this marriage of atomic particles, producing the biomagnetic, electrochemical beings of light that you are. With this focus, with this gratitude, receiver and giver are blessed. And you are aware, now, of how intent comes into this equation, this atomic equation, are you not? Intent is what changes light into form, intent is the catalyst, and intent is unlanguageable, it is core, it is soul. It is that which leaves jewels strewn on this path of light many find themselves walking, ever so cautiously. It is intent, a shadow word but serviceable, intent which allows the creation into form of the neutron, and of electron, and this is the popping, benevolence itself, personified, individuated as intent, and so, we tell you that it is well and it is good to live in one's integrity, to live aware of the all, feeling, knowing, that there is an eye, cloud or galaxy, symbol or metaphor, this eye is on you, this eye is you, and this eye is creation itself. From it reaches unending blissful geometries of creativity you know not of, as well as this creation you inhabit, this reality you are coming to know. This I, this consciousness, this intent, it is trained only on you this day, all days, without beginning, without end, through its focus, through its intent, the grids alter, sweeten, and this is how we shall leave you. Magnetic Master Chiron has explained the grids with precision and mastery, and we wish to amplify one portion of his mighty work. It is said that Akashic drivers are what moves things, in a mass and individual consciousness. Yes. The drivers, old drivers, oh, the ones which kept you up at night, made you seek shelter, assisted you in changing from hermits to shamans, the old drivers of fear, shame, unfinished business, the separation, the individuation of a consciousness, to its inevitable conclusion, and the new drivers, these drivers which speak to, thunder within, and are in partnership with your considerable Akash, these new drivers, of course, are an amplification, an anthropomorphication, of the crystalline grid's adjustment, no longer resonating with horror, fear, terror, poignance, bitter sweetness, depression, yes, even depression, this grid has been clarified, 
and with this we weave in our comment of tone being far more important and undiscovered, as a modality in all life enhancement, tone, and this this, we refer show as one with the grids which have sweetened, lightened, as have you, more easily in tune with harmony itself. That which now resonates so much more fluidly and easily, with so much less resistance. We honor you as you now move through grids which resonate, amplify, seek out and co-create joy, peace, satisfaction, balance, harmony, and more, benevolent situations, benevolent outcomes, benevolent science, benevolent government, benevolent parents, benevolent teachers, benevolent TV anchors, benevolent CEOs. How can systems not help but change, be rebuilt? to honor and amplify and focus on that which is more and more benevolent for all. This energy has many strains, many tones, within this vibration, there are vast areas ripe for exploration, but within this pitch are epiphanies, clarity, joy, laughter, a sense of community and brotherhood, safety and freedom. This is your grid now. Sweetening, ever sweetening, now. Of course, the geometrics of this are profound, and the mathematical proof of all of this is hiding in plain sight, just beginning to be elucidated. Be aware that all information will come through many, and so we say, the clearer the information is, as helpful as it is, in its place, this then is the all, speaking through an embodiment. Can you not see, now, why removal of attachment is, was, a priority for so many? Can you not see the beauty of creation, its force surging through you in love, in reverence, in recognition and in joy of your having discovered it, ceaselessly expressing nothing but love, as pure as it ever was, now being seen by some, felt by many, expected by all. We leave you in profound peace, in balance, and in anticipation of a future you have yet to write, we chide our loved one, the future, each of you, grand solar angels magnificent embodiments of soul, each of you create only within this now. There is no future, yes, there is experience, and yet, at this moment, whatever it is you find yourself doing in this moment, this is the seed, the root, the tree and the flower of everything which has been and is yet to be experienced, shall we begin to use this terminology? It removes urgency. To be experienced, this is a good term for those who understand this message this day. This now is all, your apex, your focus, and the home, the seat, the core of your individual intent. Feel this stillness at any time, at all times, as you wish, giving and receiving, speaking and doing, smiling and knowing. Peace. Be still. Selah.